suspicion of possibly a robbery. But now the question, was it Islamic extremism? You're about to hear from the teen's grief-stricken parents, only right here on the record. But first, the investigation into the murder of Brendan Tevlin. Brendan Tevlin was hanging out with some friends, texted his mother, saying he was on his way home, never made it. Brendan Tevlin was shot to death in his car. A suspect accused of murdering a 19-year-old says he did it as retribution for innocent lives lost in Iraq and Syria and the rest of the Islamic world. But court documents show that the killer, Ali Muhammad Brown, was motivated by holy jihad. And now, Allison and Michael Tevlin speaking only to on the record about that terrible night their son was viciously murdered. I was up. I was shot at teens. Just a kid who would always do the right thing, and he would have told me if he was going somewhere. So, and I wasn't panicking because I thought maybe on his way home he went to his buddy Anthony's, who lives catty corner to us, and sometimes he stops there and they hang on his deck. But then, you know, it got later and later, and then I just, I, on it, I never thought, not in this area, but something. So horrific could have happened. I really was hoping that maybe he went to friend Anthony's and, you know, time got away from him or fell asleep, which would have been the first time ever. Like, he's just not that irresponsible, but still waited. Were you up or waiting as well? I was actually away. I was in Maryland with my uh, younger son, Brian, uh, at a lacrosse showcase. And uh, he was actually in the dormitory, and, you know, I got the phone call around. 4 30, 5 o'clock. And, um, from? From Allison. You know, the West Orange Police Department and the prosecutor's department came up and visited her, which is, you know, I couldn't, I never imagined how she felt. You know, I wasn't there. And, uh, I, it was tough. So that's the first, so someone came to your door? So about right. And my daughter had been up, uh, and my younger 13 year old doorbell rings at 4 o'clock in the morning. Everybody hears it. And I just, you know, I can actually see the heads through the, the wooden door, the glass, uh, as I was coming down the steps, and I just thought, still would never have thought what they told me. But maybe, you know, maybe an something happened, yeah. get an accident, maybe in the hospital, maybe something and uh yeah it's just what they tell did they tell you the the cold horrible ugly truth or did they try to at least be gentle about it um they were very nice i knew uh one the one west orange police officer known him for years and uh one of the other guys has known michael for years and i just could see on his face when I think I, I grabbed him and said, oh, no, no, not Brendan. And he said, yeah, it's Brendan. And he was, he was murdered. And I was thinking, murdered? In West Orange, New Jersey? I, I, I just, and then it kind of turns into a big blur because they were on their mission to find out what was going on. It's no news a parent should ever have to give another parent, is it? Yeah, I was, I was sound asleep. I, I thought it was a bad dream. I, I had to wake up, put my head under water, and call her back. I said, I got to call you back. What do you mean? You know, Brandon's dead. You know, and, you know, you know, as a father, you know, what she was going through, I just, you know, I couldn't, wasn't there. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's tough. But, that trip home. Yeah, three hour trip home was not easy. But, you know. Uh, you know, my driving home was just to make sure we got home safe, me and my son Brian. And, uh, you know, I didn't tell Brian, I just, you know, I had to take him out of the dormitory at 5 in the morning, or 6 in the morning, and he uh, was like, yeah, what's going on? I said, something happened to Brendan. Um, yeah, what happened? What happened? It, it, it was an accident. It, you know, I, I couldn't tell him what actually happened, because he just, it would have been a really tough ride home. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, he wasn't happy I didn't tell him, but I'm thankful I, I didn't. Because you know, he ended up going to sleep, and it was able time for me to reflect and, and think about what happened.
And our conversation with Brendan Tevlin's parents continues coming up. Do they think their son's murder was an act of Islamic extremism? They're